going everybody? This is Rob Novacast back with a, another video for you guys. And we'll be playing some uh, Gears of War 5. So, uh, continuing. So, um, to an extent, Kate was able to get the thing out of her head. And my, uh, Niles awoken uh, the new Hive Queen. So, there's that. Freeing the matriarch was unwise. You will die. Which means you will never look upon the grandeur of your mother. Transfigured. I'm gonna kill you, Niles! Alright, Kate here. This was my grandmother's. I feel a lot of anger in these drawings. If I had grown up like this in this place with these people, I don't know if I can say I would have got, uh, done things differently. What's the saying? You reap what you sow? That actually would have been good for the title. <laughs> Not a thing about it. Yeah, that's good for her title. Help me lift this. Kate, you want to tell me what the hell Niles is talking about? Later, after we deal with Niles. Every child needs a playmate. Oh, shit. Have fun. Oh, that son of a bitch. Watch it! More locusts! Guess what? Death comes for you. Okay, it looks like we're clear. Then let's keep moving. Niles can't get away. Cryo cannon. Locked. There's got to be a way to open it. Maybe there's something Jack can do. Jack, see where that leads. <laughs> Shot. 
Let's get after Niles. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, Time to right. go. So then let's keep after Niles. Come on. Hey, Niles, we're still coming. I really don't think he can hear you. I really don't care. Let's get this open. All right. We're here. Oh, 
Niles is leaking something. Looks like he went this way. Wait, Del! There he is! Damn it! Jack! Is that mm -hmm. you? What has been done cannot be undone. This planet is now theirs. Oh, there he is. I told you I'd get you. on you.
real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Miera. Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. Got their queen. And Nas is right about what happens next. We need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the hammer of dawn. Oh, thank God. Looks like you need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? Yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skiff. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still haven't. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so. 
So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly, or stupid, or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Okay. I like this new getup, by the way. I like that they had one for, uh... Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on, let's just go see Barry. All right, let's see what this is. All right. Translated in Terran. UIR, UIR third fleet decimated by COG super weapon. Premier Yuri Dushenko Dish, to begin peace talks by Na Trisher. Krishko staff writer Bonberg the battle of Bomberg has come to a stunning conclusion with the UIR third fleet reporting the loss of at least four naval vessels off the coast of Austria Austria or Austria this is no doubt the clearest signal in decades that the pendulum wars may soon be coming to a conclusion with Premier Yuri Shishchenko remarking earlier today that peace talks are soon to be underway. When pressed to comment on the nature of the coalition's new weapons platform, Shishchenko said, I believe it is in the best interest of all UIR citizens that we listen to what the COG has to say at this juncture. The Premier's office indicated that a full statement would be issued soon. Meanwhile, seemingly contradicting uh, communique released by Commander Mirin Treshko of the OIR Third Fleet proclaimed simply, we are not defeated, we are not deterred. The Third Fleet has regrouped, rearmed, and reaffirmed its commitment to our mission and that of our United Republics. The Premier's office has or had no comment on Commander Tresco's uh, statement. Okay, so we got quite a bit done. Um, for now, and this place actually looks really freaking cool. For now, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novacast signing off. I'm going to take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.